go into the AFL news. News. And I think we'll, well, the first story kind of following on from the story from last week of Chris Scott. Why do you have to fart every time? <laughs> that was solid. I was getting away with that if it wasn't for you just then. You're getting away with it, except you're doing like a you know, 20 degree lean to get up to get it out. Yeah, it was the chair, I'm telling you. It was the chair. When the yeah. podcast is combined with smell of vision in the, in the late 21st century, we're in big trouble. Please don't. Please don't. Matthew, your mate, Chris Scott, he yes. top of 10 grand fine. I think that's probably fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah like and a and s- 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 no, it's a suspended 10 grand fine. So he doesn't have to pay. It's, it's more of do something else. If you do it again. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, he's done – like we said, this is his sort of third strike, if you would. He's already done it a couple of times. He'll do it no, again. We talked about it last week, the type of competitor he is. 10, 10 grand to slap on the wrist for what he wanted to do it for. He wanted to pump his troops up. He did. Um, oh, it's a bit didn't help. <laughs> didn't help. No, it didn't in the end. I think it's a bit of a non-news thing. Yeah. In the, oh, oh, it did help. Actually, they won because it was the Brisbane game. Ah, uh, yes. Um it's a bit of a non news story now, to be honest. I think Fucking he'll do it again and he'll probably get another suspended fine. But that's what it is. We talked about what we th- we think about it. Um, yeah. He's an interesting cat, Chris Scott. If you uh, if he ever writes a book, I'll definitely read it. Boom. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> interesting cat. <laughs> the, uh, the big talk of the week, obviously, uh, we're talking about expansion with um, the league. Uh, the, the push for a Tassie team is, it seems to be building yeah. more and more. Yeah. I, I don't know if it is building more, if it's being talked about more. Mm-hmm. I think the people of Tassie are just so keen to have a team that they can throw their arms around well, and the, really you know, love. They've got stuck into the big bash, of course. They're yeah. Like, and the, hey, we want to – Like it's a team. state that just doesn't have any love from – for sport, you know, yeah. the, yeah. they told and North Melbourne to fuck off. I was like, if you're not gonna, yeah, yeah, if you're not into it, then we're not into it. So, exactly. yeah. it, it it still comes back to my thing. I don't think 18 teams. Is, I think we've got too much disparity from top and bottom mm-hmm. in the AFL, and you know, They're we'll see upsets. Same. It's the exact same thing. 19 there's five, teams. There's five teams that are is a lot. So. Like 19 teams for 25 million people <laughs> who play every sport. It's it's too many for mine. So. And then you've got an odd team. So then, where does your other team come from? Mm-hmm. I hate to interrupt you, Macker. On while we're in the AFL, Adam Reynolds has just kicked the first two-point field goal. Oh, oh is that what this commotion is? Oh. Uh-huh. So from forty yeah. yards out, just before meters, meters, forty. Yes, Jesus, it's clear <laughs> too. Far out. That's going dead that by is five a meters. Huge yeah. kick. Yeah. Massive. Of course, they, I said halftime score yeah. sixteen. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's what curse. It's as, soon, as soon as he kicked, he's like, yeah, that's pay that, that man. Pay the right man. over. Pay Bit of history man. here on the SQ. Yeah, you yeah, heard it here live. first. Yeah. So yeah. For, he first two point field goal from forty yards out. That was a new rule they brought in. So there you go, Adam Reynolds. Pay the man. History here on the SQ. Uh, Tassie's got a history for punching above their weight, though. In in producing. Uh, sports stars like you they love you, cricketers you look at yeah you look at cricket like Booney mm. Ponning coming to yes, mind you, yeah. you saw Tasmania kill New South Wales last week yep. there, there's half a million people down there you look at the oh, that's current crazy. AFL players down there and this is just this is just big names right mm. uh, that I'm going to highlight for you Jack Rewalt Ben Brown Mitch Robinson Liam Jones Jeremy Howe Brody Majacek the Caller Jashney boys Hugh Greenwood Toby Nankervis that's not a bad thing. They're just the ones running out now. There's a lot filtering through. Obviously, that's Nick Revolt, obviously the poster boy from there as well. They're, they're good players. Like, they're they're like in any team. That's a team that you yeah. build around. Yeah. They're, they're, it, the guys that I've just named there, that you're missing one or two ball midfielders. Yeah. But in terms of key forwards, key backs, a Ruckman, mm. like if if the, all those guys, it's a core team you could build around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And of course, there's a draft system where you grew up yeah, doesn't yeah. translate. Yeah. Yada yada, but yada yada. But the the, the it talent, shows you there's the footy there. there. Yeah, 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 for sure. And they love it. They love it down there. And I think the, the biggest say, thing with Tassie is like if you you can get people like there's North supporters who go to the Tassie games. It's just it's it's a quick flight. It's quick yeah. to get over. So the half million of Tassie, but you can also try and attract in more. I, yeah. That that's what they're sort of angling at. God, I've been hearing about Tassie getting a team for the last 20 years. Like this, this is like following. Brisbane expansion in the league, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, because it's a very fine – like you, you can really fuck it up. And we're going to see over the next couple of years with GWS, and we'll talk about them later on. Mm. Switch it, monkey. If they start going down if, and if Gold Coast aren't viable, then it's like, well, these two new teams we brought in aren't doing anything, even mm. with the draft system. Mm, mm. We sure, saw GWS. They reached the grand final, so they've had some success. Yeah. The on the field stuff is is good, but you need that support base. You need membership coming through. And I was at the GWS game. Mm. <laughs> I was having a whinge with my missile. Like, if you're a GWS <laughs> supporter under the age of say fifteen, you either support two teams. 
yuck. Mm. You never supported footy before and you're like Giants, awesome, mm. great. That's mm. what you want to do. Or you change teams, yuck. Yes. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like over, over the age of 15. You, 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 the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So under, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. under yeah. the age, cool, you're a kid that that's yeah. who they've pumped yeah. time into. But you're over, a Canberra over kid. The age, yeah, over the yeah. age of 15, unless you've never seen a game of footy before and you yeah. want to start supporting this team, yeah. you've either changed teams or you're supporting two teams. And I just can't yeah. have that in my head. I just won't allow that to be a thing. So <laughs> mm. I got – Again, we'll get into the game a bit later, but a woman in a full Sydney Swans kit get blowing up at me at a JWS Melbourne game. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm always wearing my Lakers hat there. Like, what are we doing here, madam? Who, who are you angry at? Uh, uh, what, what do you that, think about uh, Darwin, though? Northern Territory. Well, yeah, so, yeah, Darwin seemed oh. but I got how, obviously bias here. Darwin's a harder sell. Bias here. I think Canberra would sort of, you yeah, know, you'd, yeah. you'd, yeah. but that's more of a move GWS thing, I'd yeah. imagine. And, and there's mm. been been some really good, particularly Indigenous guys, come come through the NT and make yeah. it into the AFL. But Darwin's like 100,000. The whole mm. NT is like 150,000 yeah. yeah, people. Yeah, it's not sustainable. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's a huge, like, guys don't like flying to Perth as it is. Mm. Like, I also put a team in Brooklyn. And to ha- you, like, you'd yeah, have exactly. to build. Shout out to yeah. uh, Ranklin, Joel Ridge, <laughs> if you're listening. We may as well have the bloody, you know, Broom bears or something. You know, like, <laughs> I, 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 I just I think that's an absolute pipe dream having a, t- yeah. a Darwin based team. Yeah. Tasmania I can see is viable. Yes. I yeah. wonder. I wonder if the floating of Darwin is to help the Tassie. Call. Like, oh god, if you're thinking Darwin, then you have mm. to give it to Tassie. I wonder if it's part of the mm. the because we Darwin is just not feasible. It's no. not feasible. No. Mm. Population support facilities. The money you'd have mm. to pump into it, you'd Crocodiles. never get it back. <laughs> Crocodiles everywhere. I mean, name yeah. for the teams is there. Oh, that, that's the one thing you can. You oh, can that's the croc. patented here on the yeah. SQ things. <laughs> and the the anti thunder obviously played in the Neefall. That was and a great it, concept. Yeah, they did they, really they well. Really good, really good in the Neefall. Although that, whenever they'd have to come to Canberra in the middle of July, they, they really struggled with poor buggers because they, 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 you know, they were playing the South Pole. I. I, don't, I cannot ever see Darwin. I love Dreamtime at the G being – last year they couldn't play the MCG, so they had it in Alice Springs. Mm-hmm. What a great idea Atmosphere, to yeah. celebrate mm-hmm. our Indigenous yeah. community and the mm-hmm. Indigenous footy community. I think that should be here. Mm-hmm. If you want to do the game at the G, that's fine, but have a game at Alice Springs. And, yep. so, and yeah. look, we could name the players who've played in the end, who are from the NT mm-hmm. and it'd actually be an all-time but, list of, mm-hmm. you know, and, and mainly Indigenous players. Yeah. But uh, you just will never, ever be able to have – professional sports team there purely because of numbers money that you'd have to pour into it Mm. i I just think it's put in there to help the tassie case if you would and you can't have an uneven team you just can't you can't have a team having a buy round one Mm. who's that team that misses out every year so i think like you said before as a comparison camera makes so much more sense yeah yeah it's got comparable size to tasmania of population Mm. you've got monocle over there you've got facilities Already built in, so you don't exactly. have to pump money into it. Yeah. If there's ever going to be a Tassie team, I think it has to be a relocation, and you're never going to get a, t- a team relocated. You just cannot get a team that's been around for 100 years to, to up and go. Uh, yes, well, Fitzroy. On, what on. about Fitz, Fitzroy? Fitzroy moved, yeah. obviously. That was what, you know, 80s, uh, 90s. South, but South in Melbourne these, to Sydney. Yeah. In, these climate, mm. in this climate, I just don't think you can ever see North Melbourne supporters ever being like, yep. And they're obviously the, the main yeah. ones. Yep. If the Bulldogs weren't playing well, you'd say the Bulldogs. Then yeah. I put my hand up. You know Look, these poor clubs. Well, the way Gold Coast is going, like, yeah. Who knows? who knows? So I, yeah, I don't think it's what. Yeah, and you look to all our Tassie listeners. I know you'd be upset because they, they love their footy down there and they just mm. want a team to get their throw their arms around. Mm. But is there any major Australian sports at the moment with a team in Darwin? Is it just no. the NBL? Oh, they got that dial. They got a Darwin team in the NBL. Can you chase that up? I'm not no. not a big NBL. I don't think they've got. A, I, don't I know. Think, t- I think Townsville's the one I'm thinking of. Well, Can, I think Cairns and Townsville have NBL Titans, teams. Yeah. I don't think Darwin's gone. Yeah, yeah. Darwin. Have, yeah, exactly. I don't think it's not a major. No, no. no. So. And that's not saying we shouldn't ever associate the Northern Territory with sport. Have these games, you know, mm. encourage sport in these things. We need foot. Like, God, they breed great footy players yep. so we don't want to completely shut them out no. pump money pump funds in there yep. grow the game there yep. but for, as far as professional sports team no. it's just purely not viable it's a yeah. it's a three game a season type yeah thing. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. grow it love it yep. go to the grassroots because the results are all there like every mm. afl team has mm. great indigenous players in them and um, yeah. so i'm glad with the sir douglas news so douglas so Doug Nichols round we, we <laughs> uh, is such a great celebration of all yep. our Indigenous um, footy players and community, yep. for that matter. Well said. Yeah. So I think to summarise, we'll, we'll believe it when we see it. Believe it when well, we see exactly. it. Well, exactly. We've been hearing about it for long enough. So yep. it's And just most likely it stays at 18. And if mm. there's a Tasmania team, yep. it's a relocation. Yeah, it's the Gold Coast yep. Suns moving to Tassie. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only way we can, yeah. 
summarize that. Do I mention the loan system? Yeah, well, Dima Hardwick came out this week and, and sort of threw it open and, and said sort of coaches have been talking about it, whatever that means. Uh, those f- familiar with the EPL and world football or mm-hmm. soccer, mm-hmm. um, their system of having a loan, whether you've got a young player who you not you know he's not in your best eleven, mm-hmm. so you loan him out to a lower yeah, club. You want him game time and a yeah, you want you want them to get games a leg instead of sitting on the bench and, and training throughout the week. So he thinks you know they've got four ruckmen and and maybe your child can't get a game, and they've got a young uh, ruckman, Samson Ryan, who's just you know behind Nankervis, yeah. behind uh, Noah Bolter. Well, I- Ivan Soldo, Ivan is hurt at the moment. That's like yeah. between Nankervis, Soldo, Bolter, they they're probably starting it. Yeah, at, at, at a, a lot of clubs. Exactly yeah, right, and, and 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 that's what Hardwick's come out and said, saying I'd love for him to be playing, you know, professional footy every week. It'd be great to see that. I think that should be open. I think it's just a crock. I think it's just a a way to sort of bring it out to the open. You know, I don't know. We're we, a bit of egotistic. There's like, oh, look at how many good many ruckmans we have. Exactly <laughs> right, and it's part of having good list management. Yeah. Like you, yeah, okay, you've yeah. prioritised ruckman. You With want a good depth. solid, yeah. yeah. At the ruck spot, and and you know, um, Gold Coast will go into soon, are depleted at the ruck mm-hmm. position. So Hardwick's, you know, and he actually called out the Sun saying, "Hey, they'd love to have you yeah. know nineteen year old Samson Ryan actually going in the ruck, and it'd be great for Samson, it'd be great for the Gold Coast Suns." Well, and I we were saying it off air. What happens if in one week Richmond lose all of their ruckmen? Yeah, do they say, "Oh, sorry, Gold Coast, we actually want Samson Ryan back to play ruck"? So it's- It'd have to be if the if it's like the EPL, it'd be like it's for the season. Yeah, but, but you yeah, know what I mean. Then then it becomes well, no, he's actually our player, and oh well, you know, there's IP. You know, he's going over there. You know, knowing how Richmond plays, so how the whole th- they've brought in a mid season draft for this, mm-hmm. and we'll talk about Gold Coast State. We I will guarantee you they pick a ruckman from the state leagues, and I think it's brilliant and it's worked. We've seen guys like Will Snelling and John Noble come from the Sample. Um, other guys, I know Angus Baker plays in the. He played in the NEFA when it was around. He's mm-hmm. come back now. He's sort of been linked with Essendon and St Kilda. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's just hoping to play some good footy and, and get picked up mid-year mm-hmm. in this draft. Mm-hmm. That's what it's for. Go to the, the secondary tier competitions yeah. and pick a good play, player. Play your ass off. Yeah, and, that's yeah, what, yeah. and you know, if you have a – like Gold Coast have now, they have no ruckman, they can go and, and what they'll be doing for the next couple of months is looking in the waffle, looking in the sand for whatever this new NEFA comp is, new VFL. Mm. Who's the best ruckman? Look We're going to pick him up. AFL Canberra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking at uh, on the Eskies, yeah. very own yeah. uh, Antonio Peluzio. Yeah. Uh, uh, could you get a run for Brisbane at the moment? No, nah, well, I'm not in the best 20 ruckman in Canberra. <laughs> 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 so yet. Yet. It's yes. still time, still, baby. There's still time. So you're saying there's a chance. So, I th- yeah, it, you need to have good list management. You can't have two ruckmen get injured and then go, oh, shit, we don't have anyone over, you yeah. know, six you foot. And we mentioned before. The importance, like, the importance of depth. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. well, same thing, like front office. Yeah. Like we mentioned before, culture, front office. It's all important. That's why the shit teams are always shit. Yeah. And the, the good teams are always good because they've got good management in there. They've got good GMs. They've got good guys that actually understand how to build depth, mm. uh, build talent, find talent, and, and retain talent. Uh, versus the shit teams that can't do that. And Jared Witt is, is a captain of the club. He's an all-time great. We're not saying you need to have a bloke that you can just fill in straight away. No. But you, what do you prioritise? Gold Coast have said, oh, God, Witt is really good here. We're gonna, we want more young forwards. We want more mids to be around. Mm. And now and now it's cooked them. So, And they've got injuries to, to their lesser ruckman as well. So it's not like they had one ruckman on the list. No. So. Mm-hmm. The idea is there. We want every. We want the best players playing. We want all the teams to be even. But I just don't think it like, much like it has the idea. I think it's too viable to be honest. And it's just a bit of a conversation piece from Dimmer, who just likes the sound of his own voice and likes seeing himself a fox footy by <laughs> what I've learned over the last couple of years. But that's all the sort of big news uh, throughout the week. But um, do they have like a mid-season trade window or trade deadline? No trade. So not in between clubs. And that that, that I think this is a bridge to get there as well. They, yeah. that player movement is good because you're talking about it. It's cool to see other players talk, you know, not to bullrog this up, but they've had Jason Johannesson playing the twos. Mm. Mitch, you, know, you know, if a team's got good depth, you're looking at their list going, wow, there's co- yeah. really good players playing VFL. Like yeah. that shouldn't happen. But you, you'll yeah. notice. You trade those blacks for like, well, I'm a bit weak here. I might see if I can exactly. get for and someone yeah. else so I can make a run, that kind of And thing. I think that's where they kind of want to go and then you just give up. You pay overs because it's mid-season, so you're going to have to give up a first-round pick yeah. because you're desperate to get someone in. 
And you'll always notice, and, and it's happened the last couple of years, Brisbane got really good in the comp, so Brisbane Reserves got really good in the knee full. Yes. Like Bulldogs, yeah. they Footscray yeah. is good when Western Bulldogs good. When yep. your team's shit, you, your, your, your VFL general team's going to be shit. shit. Yeah. Like there's, that's yeah. not a coincidence. No. There's a reason you've got good players running around there because you've got better players playing in the ones. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the argument's there, you know, we shouldn't have these guys missing out. Well, what, you don't want your team to be good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You want, de- you know, that's all a coach wants is good depth. Yeah. So you, you can't just say, oh, well, I'm happy now to, to loan out my depth. And they're not going to give their best players either. That's the other thing. No. Gold Coast need a Ruckman. They're not going to give you maybe your Chol no. who yes. can't get a game. Yeah. They're yeah. going to give you this not 18 year old ruckman. We want yeah, to see what and, he's got. And, so and we want him back, maybe in, yeah. in, in any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the thinking behind so, it. So, yeah. yeah, or yeah. they're like, well, you can have him, but we want your first round pick for it. Yeah, and so I like, think oh, that is, uh, I don't want to do that. that's what they're trying to do is get like a trade window or a trade period mm-hmm. and and see where it goes. And, and yeah, you'll, and you'll get people paying overs because it's mid season. And mm-hmm. that's, and we've seen that's how it works in the States. And that's probably where they want to go with the AFL. But, that's a bit of a watch this space thing. I think that's, yeah, that's where the teams and where the comp wants to go. But again, in Australia, we just are, we're still so new to free agency and oh, trades. We're yeah. not, we're not there. We're not there where we, you know, it's, we have a trade week in November and, and it's crazy. And oh yeah. my God, we lose our mind over it. So imagine that happening in July now <laughs> with, <laughs> with your current team. Like it would be bonkers and people just aren't there yet. Yeah, with and, it, so. and the NRL free agency is a mess. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's just so, yeah. you, you move mid season and oh, whatever. He plays for yeah. Dragons. Well, you you sign yeah. like two years yeah. away from where you currently. Yeah, yeah. It's just so crazy. yeah, and and to be honest, I don't know if I, as a fan, would I want to go to a sort of an NBA NFL system where guys, it, it is just the business of football, exactly. and uh, so many guys have played for six teams, eight teams, yeah. like the, you know, the, mm. our, our the junior men. Yeah, the the older generation already thinks it's you know abhorrent that guys yeah. play for three move, te- yeah, three exactly. teams. Yeah, you yeah. know, where's yeah. the loyalty? Where's yeah. the loyalty? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's it's usually a business decision though. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Where's the club's loyalty? That's right. I'd, I like to say to all those boomers out there, where's your loyalty for three hundred, four hundred grand? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that'd be interesting. You bought your house for fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, Tell me right. about your loyalty <laughs> there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Talk about the property market. Yeah, you put a hole in the ozone layer, uh. you fucking boomer. Just, just settle down. Just settle. <laughs> And let the kids let the bloke wear out. a different jersey, right. okay? Wear the adults yeah. now. Yeah. Wear the adults now and enjoy your fucking forty investment <laughs> properties. I can't, I can't wait to Nana choose you out over that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nana owns two houses and, sh- and she's a hardworking immigrant. I'm talking about the generation in between. The generation in between is the one that I'm going after here. Nana never drove a car in a, a day in her life. She, no, no contributing factors to the hole in the ozone land. <laughs> Anyways, there's a there's a round of footy to talk.